On our viral video show, there was one more myth we tested but didn't have time to show. Involving Grant and a common vegetable. Grant's the one who'll be doing the talking. Believe it or not, millions of people watch this simple demonstration on the internet. It seems to prove that a portable music device can be powered by an onion. I have seen the viral video, and on first glance, um, it looks incredibly simple. A little too simple. He's right. The charge supposedly comes from plugging one end of a standard USB cable into a common white onion that's been soaked for 30 minutes in a sports drink. Now, it would be really cool if this were true because, you know, I travel a lot and sometimes I forget my charger. So, you know, if my MP3 player ran out of charge, I could just, you know, run over to a, a vegetable patch and, you know, there you go, charger. The sports drink is full of electrolytes, which help electrons move from a negative cathode to a positive anode. But Grant's already found a fatal flaw in the USB connector. My feeling is it's probably a hoax, because in order to get a real wet cell battery, you need two dissimilar metals, which you're not going to find with your MP3 player's USB plug. But we haven't gone to the expense of buying one white onion and a sports drink to leave this one uncontested. Okay, so this is how this is supposed to work. You take a white onion, you poke a hole in each side with a screwdriver, okay, and then we soak the onion for half an hour. In the video, the punctured onion soaked up half the liquid, in this case, next to nothing. So, strike one. And bear in mind, you're watching a sped up 30 minute time lapse shot. After that half hour, you take your USB connector from your MP3 player, plug it directly into the onion. Okay, wait a second or two, and then it magically starts to charge. Or maybe it doesn't. Uh, we've waited a little while, and there's no response from the MP3 player. This is pretty much what I expected. And the reason is that while the onion might contain necessary electrolytes to make some sort of wet cell battery, it doesn't have the dissimilar metals, which are also required to make the wet cell battery work. But as a backup, I'll take my voltmeter, plug it into the onion, and see if I can measure any voltage potential across it. It never hurts to double check, but the voltmeter's just as lively as the MP3. Well, guess this one's busted. Busted. And for those three million net surfers who found this viral video utterly compelling, there's two minutes of your life you'll never get back again. Mm -hmm.